Doctor, the patient is crashing. Oh no, oh. give me a sponge! Donna! He's crashing. Donna! The patient is stabilized now. Yeah. After some trial and error and extensive research online looking at various techniques of theatrical professionals, we combine a collection of various methods to create the ultimate burn simulation experience. All of the supplies that you need are shown here. Bronzing powder and flesh color powder work well together. Clear facial mask protects the moulage and keeps it looking wet. Liquid latex is most easily applied with a brush. Makeup sponges from a beauty supply store. Cream makeup and grease paint can be found at a variety of places. Brushes can be found at Walmart. A hair dryer significantly speeds up the drying process. Start by cutting a piece of saran wrap to the approximate size of the wound. Use latex and brush a very light coat to hold the saran wrap down. It can be smoothed out for other uses. A few small wrinkles works here. Brush a light coat of latex over the edges extending about two inches. Dry the latex with a hair dryer. It will dry with a clear shine to it. Use the bronzer first. Apply the powder around the edges and finish with the flesh powder to blend into the mannequin skin. Peel the tissue apart into single plies and tear the edges. Shred the tissue and place on the area. Use a brush to apply the latex to the tissue. Use the hair dryer again to speed up the drying process. Use a pointed utensil to pick apart the tissue and create texture that will appear like open blisters. If you end up poking through everything, just dab a little bit more latex on that area and let it dry. At this point, your project will look something like this. Use a sponge and start with deep red all over, then add brown here and there and blend. Then add very small amounts of green and blue in a few areas, blend this in well with the sponge. Spread a small amount of black cream onto a gloved finger and very lightly brush it across the top of the texture with your fingertips. A light touch works very well. Add fake blood. This will give good color effect. Let it dry. Use the clear facial mask and spread a thin light coat over the entire area with your gloved fingers. If needed, you can add more facial mask to preserve the look for several days. Grind up a small amount of charcoal in a bag. Use your fingers to spread it sparingly over the area and around the edges to complete the look. You can use red blush makeup powder to blend the edges more and add redness around the wound area either before or after using the charcoal. I did not do this in this example. Cleanup is actually pretty easy. Wear a clean glove and just use your fingertips. With a little pressure, start at the outside edges of where you use the bronzer and powder and use short, small pushing movements with your fingertips from the outside edges towards the center. Push and roll the latex towards the center. Do this all the way around. If your fingertips pick up a lot of grease paint and start to smear it on the mannequin, just put on another glove. It's pretty easy to control. When you get to the plastic underneath, gently pull it up. There should only be a small amount of latex and a little color residue left underneath. Use your fingers and roll the remaining latex, then clean the area with a cloth and cold cream. A microfiber towel works great for this. A miraculous clean recovery in minutes. Let's talk about ink stains. When we got an ink stain on our mannequin, as many have experienced, we tried a variety of cleaners. Alcohol, goof off, citrus cleaner, acetone, hydrogen peroxide, and a few others. Nothing would remove it. Our CAE tech, Kurt Quarter, said he had heard about trying Clearasil with UV light. It works. Spread a light coat of Clearasil over the stain and put a UV light 6 to 12 inches over it. The benzoyl peroxide is the active ingredient in the Clearasil. Leave it under the light for several hours. If you have the ability to place the part with the stain in a secure area with bright natural sunlight, it works much quicker. To remove, just use a damp cloth and wipe off the residue. The stain will simply vanish. Depending on how dark the stain is, you may have to repeat the procedure two to three times. The moulage made a huge difference. The students uh, commented to all of us that this was their best week of medical school, that they just had loved it that much. And I think that kind of energy and engagement academically has really paid off, you know, big time. They really enjoyed working in the lab. They really felt like this was valuable for their education. I think it was well worth it.